Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have found one another feature of OpenAI which is the Flex. Here you see O3 with Flex API will be cheaper than O4 mini. Not only than O4 mini, it is cheaper than Gemini 2.5 Pro also. Here you see with O3 Flex option, the input price is only $1 and the output price is only $5 which is very much less than the Gemini 2.5 Pro. In this video, I will show you that what are the advantages that you will get if you use this flex option and how you can get that flex option and uh, how to integrate that with the VS Code client on Rucode extension. So stay with me till the end. So first of all, if I go to their blog, this is the official blog post that they have published flex processing optimized cost for flex processing and uh, here you see flex processing provide significantly lower cost for chat completion or responses request and currently it is available only for the o3 and o4 mini model and here you see token input and output are priced at batch api rates with additional discount from prompt caching so also this prompt caching option available with this flex processing so if you go to this requesty.ai there you will find this option basically if you want to use this o3 model then you have to pay the money right and uh, i think that if you want to use this o3 then this requesty is the best option because there you will find many option so here you see if you search this o3 then there you will find this o3 flex and this o3 main variant and also there you will find this vision plus caching option and they have given this pricing range which is one dollar and uh, the output is the four dollar for this flex option and if you was you want to use the main model which is the o3 model then it is two dollar per million input token and output is the eight dollar per million input token because some days ago sam altman announced that we dropped the price of O3 by 80% excited to see what people will do with it now and the interesting thing is that if you go to this Gemini 2.5 Pro pricing they are they have given that for this less than 200k token the pricing is 1.25 dollar and uh, for this greater than 200k token the pricing is 2.5 dollar but with the new pricing update this O3 flex is cheaper than this Gemini 2.5 Pro. Not only this O3 flex, this O3 main model is also cheaper than this Gemini 2.5 Pro because you see the output cost for this O3 main model is the $8 per million input token. But for this Gemini 2.5 Pro, it is $15 per million input token because it is greater than 200K that they have written. So we can see that how much cost is got reduced. And by the way, I am not promoting this request. I am just providing you the information that request is the best provider that I have found because they have all of this option what we should use. And uh, here you see that if you sign up for the first time in this request, then you will get $1 credit for free. And after that, if you uh, spend this five dollar extra then they will give you five dollar extra credit so you can take that advantage now after that if you go to this vs code in install client or rucode or kilo code whatever you prefer and after that go to that client and there go to that plan or act mode and select this request as a api provider and uh, give your api key now how will you get your api key so after login you will find this kind of interface and on the left hand side you will find this api key option under this configuration go there and there just create one api key it is very simple give any name after that uh, click on this create api key and you will get that and paste it here and uh, under this model select this o3 flex so just write in this way o3 and after that give one colon and here you see flex and if you want to use the flex option with o4 also then there also you will get that here you see o4 mini flex it is available okay but i will recommend you to use this flex option with the o3 so that you can get the best advantage with the lowest price and also you see it supports images and also supports browser use and supports prompt caching okay 
so i hope you got the idea that how to do it and the same process is for the root code and the kilo code i hope you will be able to do that and if you found helpful so please make sure you subscribe this channel please don't forget to like this video also if you want to get this type of videos more daily and please watch the other videos also so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching